Hello everyone, in the worst single day drop since September 2013, rupee dropped 1.6% on Monday and this is why we are here with our midweek USD ANA forecast. So the current currency market is choppy and our analysis will give you a fair idea of the USD ANA movement for the remaining week. The rupee was hit hard by the twin impact of the practical devaluation of yarn and the Kashmir issue. Ruby had a gap down opening at 70.14 against a previous day close of 69.59 and slided further only to close at 70.71. Ruby was also the worst Asian performer yesterday. Further, the unexpected move by the Indian government to bring in the Kashmir Reorganization Bill and to remove the effects of Sector 370 and 35A, which granted a special status to JNK, also contributed to the rupee's fall. The fear of a strong and violent backlash from the Kashmiri citizens and militants in the next few weeks led to strong dollar demand in the NDF markets. FPIs followed suit by again remaining major sellers in the equity markets, even as the equity markets crashed initially but partially recovered later. Today morning, the Chinese Central Bank fixed the yuan's midpoint fix at 6.9683 below the expected 6.9736. The first sign that China is likely to rein in its policy of weakening the currency to fight the trade war. This is likely to offer some support to the rupee later in the day. As far as the Kashmir issue is concerned, we believe that the government will be able to tackle any large breakout of violence and impact on our economic life would be much lower than feared by international investors. Further escalation of trade war would negatively impact the crude oil demand, creating a headroom for a sharp fall in crude oil prices. This would actually have a cushioning effect against the rupee fall. While there remains the risk of further knee-jerk reaction for a day or two, the possibility of further depreciation of the rupee looks capped. USD INR is expected to trade between 69.50 to 70.60 during this week. That's it for today. Uh, stay tuned to our YouTube channel for further weekly updates. Thank you.